All right, um, guys, listen, when you get our software, it comes packaged like this. This dongle is a very, very important part of the software. Without this, the software won't work. So when you get it, you just open it, and you're going to plug that into your computer, into the back of your computer, into a spare USB port. This number is very crucial. Okay? Keep that number reference. If you lose this dongle, it's going to cost you 16,000 Rand. Do not lose this dongle. In some cases, it's got a little gap there. You can tie a piece of line around it and epoxy it to your, to your computer. All right, so once you've got that dongle and you plug that in the back, you want to take a photograph of these numbers. Okay, keep that as a, a, a reference. Okay, because once you've put this disc in, you don't want to take it out to put in your numbers. You can also just write them down. Okay. All right. Okay, guys, so what we've done now is we've installed the disc. Uh, it comes up here with run. You just double click on that. Okay, set that. Okay, install. This computer is not the fastest, so just be patient. Once it comes up, you just say next, next, you agree. Okay, you can read that and agree with that. Next, okay, um, then your 11 character number, which you've taken a photograph of or written down. Okay, next, then you just quickly put your company name in. Okay, and then the serial number, which is also in that photograph, all in caps. If it's correct, it will highlight next. Okay, next. All right, just for me is better. Say next. It installs. Guys, this does take a few minutes. It's quite a big package. This is the latest version of the software, so it's all, all the updates and all the upgrades are all in this particular software. If you've got a software out there, guys, that you've purchased from us before, you can buy the upgrade from us. There are some very nice features in the upgrade, uh, and I'll show you as we go along. Close that. All right, now you can see it here, guys, at CMYK. All right, but you're not quite finished yet because you still got to install the key, which will come up automatically. Do you want to install? You say yes. Now, this is the key that you install to open up the software.
I previously had another version on here, so it's, it's doing a repair quickly. Okay, finish. you finished you should be able to open up your software okay there you go okay so you'll, people who've had the older version will see that they didn't normally have this page what you want to do as the as it opens is you just go to the right hand close that page because you won't be using that now okay you want to immediately go to your your, uh, that little um, tool there that opens up your back doors okay what you first do is you set it to an A4 which is over there and multi-purpose tray those are the default settings you will select your port because your printer will be plugged in at this stage and you can select your port okay if you're on um, on a USB printer cable it'll come up here automatically if you've got to set up a network which I'm going to show you um, then you will then you will use um, the, that port will then come up. okay all right then you go and you set it to millimeters so we work in millimeters then you go to properties you go to ink assignment and you set your ink assignment now, by clicking determine ink order it'll open up this box and then you say print okay okay so again determine ink order I'll just do that again and then you press print and it'll go through and it'll print on the top of your page you will see four little blocks that come out it'll have numbers one to four telling you what this what color scheme you would be in but now normally with the machine that I sell you this is it so you can default this it's white first then magenta then yellow then cyan okay so white magenta yellow cyan and then you set as default and say okay all right you go back into properties and you go to devices and options you set your half tone LPR which is a very nice feature to 200 okay that is where we find it prints the highest resolution okay uh, you can up your resolution here to 600 by 1200 which is pretty high but we find that 600 by 600 is more than adequate okay so if you do have resolution problems you can come and up that if you want that's in devices and in options right set that as default and then Okay, then you go back to media and say okay right now once you've done all your settings and everything is done like I've just shown you you very carefully now you're going to click on the save environment okay before you do save this make sure that you are in the right environment the environment is up here okay where it says Oki laser jet c711 color media that is the environment you're always working okay there are other options you can go if you've got a 920 the bigger a3 machine but in this case you are in sorry about this you are in a, a c711 sorry c711 color media that's your environment that you've set now okay now that i've played around with it i've got to go and do it all over again sorry so i'm just going to be a multi-purpose tray millimeters properties ink assignment I've got to change this back again okay if you touch your environment it will make you do this all over again cyan set as default go to devices and options to 200 set as default say okay all right then you go in here and you save this change so it's color media CMY. So remember, it is C711 cover media. Do not select any other ones, please. C711 color media. Okay. 
OK, and save. It'll ask you to do it, and you say, yes, you're overriding it. OK, right, now, the next thing you do is you actually take that out and you close your, your um, um, you close your software, OK, and then you reopen it. The reason I do that is to make sure that the settings we've just changed take effect. Okay, so you go back, at C711 color media. Okay, you make sure that's your environment, which is over here. You go here to open, and you go, you see it's it's opened up there, multi-purpose tray, 10 millimeters. Okay, you go to properties, ink assignment is correct. Device and options is correct. Okay, so those settings now, which are very important, have been set as default. So every time you open, that is what it's going to be. Right, now if you are going to put in a network you go to oh, go to queue manager you go to port manager okay you, this box will come up you select tcp ip and you say add a port all right you will then put your ip address in here in this case it's 192.168.0. this is annoying me you see key this current spec. Okay, um, 192.168.0. Uh, in this case, I think it's 101. All right, I say OK. OK, and you'll see if you click on that, and so when you finish it, That print isn't connected to my machine, but I do know that's what will come up. If it sees your machine, this box, this configure port will come up. You then say OK. All right. So what came up just before this box was saying it couldn't find it. That's because it's actually not on this machine. Um, but yours will be, and this, this box configure port will come up. You just say OK, and then you say finish. All right. So when you go to your settings here, and it says port select, you'll go down and that will now be there. So you can now put that in as your default printer. All right, guys, to find your IP address to once you're setting up, you, so you go to menu, you're gonna go to configuration, so you're gonna say enter. You're gonna go down to network, so let's go down to network. Okay, and then you're gonna go enter. Uh, then you're going to go down to your IPv4 address. You're going to go enter. And there's your IP address. You, This is obviously for when you want to create, um, when you want to connect your computer to your your printer using a network cable, you're going to use this IP address. Thank you. And that will always be to the white machine. This software only prints to our white box, not the CMYK box. All right, then you say OK. All right, now you've set up your network. You've got all your your um, all your settings in there. You can bring in a, a file, and you can do your tests. Okay, and that that's another video on how to use the software. All right, this is purely a video on how to install it. This is now all correct. All right, your environment, your um, your settings. Here, and we'll go through one more time. Um, must be on millimeters, it must be A4, it must be multi-purpose tray, um, you must have your ink assignment must be white, magenta, yellow, cyan, your device and options must be 600 by 600, 200, um, okay, and those settings will then allow you to use this, this uh, software correctly, All right, and I just reiterate, please do not lose the dongle, because if you lose it, you have to buy a new one as if it hasn't been purchased before. All right, good luck.